What's up, Gur Gang? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm Yoda Guru. Come on in. Sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a hot or cold beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum. And enjoy my reaction to episode 9 of the Star Wars series, The Bad Batch. Um, this episode is titled um, The Crossing. And coming off from last episode, um, episode 8, um, Truth and Consequences, Echo um, left, the, left, the, left, the, left the team um, to join Rex and, um, and his mission along with uh, the help with assistance of um, uh, uh, Senator Chuchi um, to help his uh, clone brothers in arms that are being uh, phased out for uh, a new um, and better... Uh, army, clone army, I'm, I'm believing, um, that will be uh, subservient and obedient to, um, to, uh, uh, Emperor Palpatine. So, yeah, um, yeah, now they're one, uh, now the Bad Batch is now one, uh, clone short, or one dad or one brother short, um, and then, and it was sad for, um, Obiga because, uh, they formed a bond between uh, not just him, but with the rest of the uh, the, the her father slash um, brothers. Um, but yeah, um, it's uh, it was quite uh, emotional for many of us who got were used to um, having uh, Echo around and being part of um, uh, Echo's uh, Echo as a brother a brother or um, uh, um, a father figure. Uh, and, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who else, uh, who else is going to be leaving, possibly leaving, but hopefully not. Um, one person who I think hopefully will be joining back up with the, the, um, the Bad Batch is Crosshair, because of, um, his, his, uh, relationship with, with them. Um, uh, we know that, um, there's a bit of a point of contention between him uh, and uh, his uh, his uh, partnership with the, the Empire, including Rampart. Well, Rampart's gone now, and so uh, that means that uh, even though he's still part of the Empire, um, uh, uh, Crosshair could, uh, in fact, join up back with his uh, Bad Batch brothers and uh, uh, Omega. Um, uh, Within this season, this uh, season two, so uh, it's still early, but uh, hopefully, uh, fingers crossed on that. In any case, let's not waste any time and get into reaction part itself of episode um, nine, The Crossing. Before we do, if you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be from my Sanctum channel or YG Anime channel for all things anime, um, I'll link right up there. Check that out, help support that channel, which is uh, greatly appreciate. Um, uh, uh, tip my hat to you. Um, uh, uh, I just greatly appreciate support as, as you're supporting this channel, which I also greatly appreciate. Uh, but let's try to get to help me get to uh, 340. Um, it's all up to you guys. It's step by step to 400. Um, that's my goal right now. But right now, the goal is to 340. It's up to you guys. For those that are just either, either looky looing or just debating on whether or not to become a subscriber and become a part of the Guru Gang of the Inner Sanctum channel. Um, in any case, uh, like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And when it comes to the full-length reaction of this episode, it posted on Patreon, $1. Um, and, um, and, uh, and that link, along with my social media links, is posted underneath this video in the description section. With that said, let's get into episode 9 of uh, The Bad Batch, the episode titled The Crossing. Alright, here we go. Oh, the Marauder. Alright. And not the same with Echo. And I bet Omega misses him. According to Sid's coordinates, this is the mine she purchased. Oh. And we're supposed to do <laughs> what? 
Excavate the site for Ipsium. It is Ipsium. tremendously valuable when refined. Sounds dangerous. Indeed. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's not good. A storm is a coming. <laughs> the storm is moving away from mm -hmm. us. We should be fine. Oh, it's away from them. Take All right. You. We'll mind the Ipsium. Rekka, Omega, you're on lookout. Both of us. Without Echo, we are a man down. Mm. I'll be the lookout. Mm. Not alone. Sid warned us about poachers in the area. Keep your eyes peeled and calm us if you see anyone. Oh, that's not good. They're being watched. Is that Hondo? I know, but it could be poachers. That's what Hunter, Hunter said. It looks like Sid was deceived into purchasing an already depleted mine. Hmm. Keep hmm. scanning. We'll extract it. Sid was scammed, apparently. <laughs> Wait. I am getting a faint reading. The Ipsium is going to be difficult to reach. All right. We'll need to carve out a bigger opening in the rock to get to it. The mineral is far too unstable. Even the slightest friction around it can cause a destructive chain reaction. That wouldn't be good at all. Hi. What's with you? I was thinking about Echo. Hmm. It's weird without him around. Yeah. But... You'll get used to it. Omega, we require your assistance. On my way. Okay, that leaves a uh, wrecker out there. Oh. Now what? Drill into the fossilized quartz until you reach the active tips unit site. But you must be precise. If the mineral becomes compromised... Chain reaction explosion. Got it. <laughs> Mm hmm. All right. No problem. Good. Okay. Yep. Gonna raid the ship. That can't be Hondo. Irregular. We have what we came for. Let's get back to Old Mantel. What is it, Hunter? Their ship is being taken. Like yep. That's not good. Now they're stuck on that planet, and the storm is coming towards them. He was supposed to be on lookout. There was no one there. Clearly, that was not the case. There has to be a way to get it back, right? Oh, that's not good at all. How exactly did you miss our ship being compromised? Maybe if you hadn't dumped it out of view. Uh, we can't stay here. Where's the nearest town? During our approach, I scanned a spaceport approximately 40 clicks south of here. Without our ship, it is our only option. Let's move. How much further? You will not like the answer. Havoc 4, this is Havoc 5. Do you copy? Echo? Are you there? He's too long range. Especially since he disabled his communication device. Oh. What? Why? I assume he's on a sensitive mission. What's that? Run. Oh, that's not good. Oh, stampede. Ooh. Careful, careful. There you go. <laughs> Ooh! That, is Wrecker okay? There you go. <laughs> you must protect the Ipsium case! Well, what about protecting me? If it explodes, we'll all be dead! That would be not good at all. Ooh! How's Wrecker? Uh, he's, he's good. <laughs> I would advise not <laughs> dropping it next time. What are you carrying? Well, the storm is approaching. Well, that would certainly explain the stampede. 
Mm -hmm. Ooh, that, good thing they're wearing helmets. <laughs> Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. The case. Again. When the case. Oh, no. Oh, I knew what was going to happen. Now they're trapped in the mine. So, now we are trapped. <laughs> and we have lost all of our Ipsium. Well, Tech stating well, the obvious. I that's my fault, too. Well, technically, yes. That's not how the blame game, guys. We gotta get out of there. Something's not right. The Marauder's transponder isn't relaying a signal. It was probably disabled by the thief who commandeered it. How are we gonna track it? The ship's not important right now. We need to get out of here first. Quite correct. Besides, it is most unlikely that the Marauder will be recovered. What? We have to get it back. We can always acquire another ship. It is merely a mode of transportation. The Marauders are home. Well, make it consider it our, her home. We can't lose that it's like a, it's something that's, uh, means something so much to her. We He's not with us. We're supposed to be a squad. This squad existed before Echo was a part of it, and it will exist after. What is your issue? Way to be heartless, uh, Tech. Doesn't see the emotional aspect of it. I merely stated the truth. She already knows the truth. That's why she's upset. Tech can be sometimes dense. Oh, she's crying. Oh, she's dealing with loss. Well, huh, now in total darkness. <laughs> oh, what's that? Maybe the smartest guy in the room, but it can be dumb sometimes. Omega. I'm busy. Hmm. I can see that. Are you aware that you are surrounded by enough Ipsium that if not handled correctly, could take down this entire cavern? Then you better not distract me. Shush! <laughs> I thought we could use this to blow our way through the cave then. This vein appears to be much more pure than what we found in Sid's mine. Perhaps you should extract as much Ipsium as you can. You trust me to do that? I am fully aware you are capable of the task. Grab the empty vials from my satchel. Well, that's just a way of saying I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, careful. Jumped it right in. What is it, Hunter? His instincts. Tech, come in. Omega, do you copy? He has a bad feeling. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> They're on top of a large, um, Itzium. That's huge! Tech, <laughs> Omega, do you copy? Affirmative. We took an unforeseen detour, but we are alive. Where are you? That is a good question. Stand by. On the outside. Freedom. Access it. Hunter, we found an alternate way out. 
but you will need to retrieve our gear. All right, Tech. We've got the gear at the Ipsium. Good. Next, you will need to carefully scale down the narrow crevasse and descend into the aqueduct below. But you must not compromise the mineral vials, or you will perish. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Hang tight. Just We're jump. On She's not a soldier. We are more than that. We're a family. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't we? Yes. You can't handle that kind of type of logic. Then why don't you act like it? He's never had to tap into his emotions before. Echo chose a different path. As did Crosshair. I have to respect their decision. He's going with logic. It can be difficult to understand. I may process moments and thoughts differently, but it does not mean that I feel any less than you. <laughs> when all goonies. <laughs> See? That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> How come he gets to blow it up? <laughs> Wrecker has all the fun. Or uh, uh, tech. All right, way out. <laughs> well, the storm has passed. That is the spaceport. But there does not appear to be much activity. Where is everyone? It's abandoned. For all well, that's not good. Look at him all this way for nothing. Not nothing. I can send out a long-range transmission with that array. No can do, fellas. I'm tied up at the moment. You'll have to figure it out yourselves. I didn't tell you to get your ship stolen, did I? Oh, Sid, all right, we Sid. Help. We helped you regain control of your parlor from Roland Durand. And when we cleared your sizable debt with Malay... I didn't ask for a recap goggle. Uh, all right. Give me a few days and I'll see what I can do. We don't have enough rations to last a few... Oh. What do we do now? We'll figure it out. Like we always do. Way to be positive, Omega. <laughs> oh, that's not good. The storm. Oh, that's it. All right, episode nine, the crossing, and um, basically the it's an aftermath of dealing with the the uh, the loss of um, Echo. Um, as um, they uh, continue on with the mission without him, um, since he is off um, with Rex, uh, helping uh, with his mission in um, helping the his uh, clone brethren, and and uh, Omega is dealing with the the, uh, the loss in a very, in a very emotional way, and um, and as they're dealing with the mission and getting like a a, a, a very rare. A, form of element that's very explosive, um, a medium I think it is, uh, for Sid, um, things don't go as planned as they have to deal with um, handling that uh, explosive um, material um, in the, the mine and dealing with a, um, uh, a, a storm that, um, that uh, at first it was going away from them, but then after the explosion um, not the explosion, but the, uh, the uh, un un unknown individual um, stealing the Marauder, um, they would have to book it to the, they had no choice but to book it to, the, to that, um, that spaceport. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, they, uh, they would have to contend with um, not only the storm itself, but uh, a herd of creatures in a very Lion King sort of way as uh, it caused the, them to... Um, uh, be uh, trapped in the in the cave as the um, storm, um, st not the, not just the storm, but the the creatures the, that are stampeding through the the caverns uh, cause the uh, the explosive material uh, minerals or whatever the case may be ends up 
uh, destroying the uh, the their way of uh, escaping the um, the, uh, the the mine, and uh, and during that and, and that's unfortunate for them. And as they were trying to uh, um, get themselves out, um, uh, Tech ends up saying something that sticking his foot in his mouth when it comes to the the loss of um, Echo as a teammate. Um, and, uh, and, um, Omega took it personally. Um, she was, uh, she was taking the loss uh, very differently than, um, than Tech, who saw it as someone who, um, uh, is on a very different mission that, uh, um, in a very logical way that they, they'll adapt. But for Omega, it was something that, uh, was personal to her. It was family, um, uh, someone close to them is gone uh, and doing something else and they're not with them and it caused um, somewhat of a point of contention for between um, uh, Omega and Tech and uh, Wrecker and Hunter knew that and uh, they knew that um, uh, said, uh, said things that uh, were interpreted the wrong way by Omega um, and hurtful ways and uh, um, yeah, and, uh, and they made, uh, they made, uh, Tech, uh, go after her and apologize and show, show, show her that, um, that he, that, that he didn't mean it, but that's how he, um, interprets it, how he conveys his, he was not a very emotional guy, Tech. He's more logical and, um, and, uh, being able to, um, sort out, um, things. And emotions are not what is, is a forte, and uh, he was and uh, during his during that time on um, the lone time when uh, they were able to um, find a way to escape, um, they they had an understanding. They came to an understanding. They had that, that uh, heart to heart talk and were able to discuss things. And and Redrick, like I said, came to an understanding, um, and which was which was awesome. Unfortunately, now they're stuck on that um, planet until. Um, uh, they're able to be rescued by Sid or uh, the whoever took that. Uh, they're the Marauder. Uh, for, I'm not saying it's Hondo, but it, it's some uh, just some raider who uh, was probably stuck on that planet and needed a way out. So um, hopefully that isn't the season finale um, uh, or the mid-season finale. But um, looking forward to hoping to figure out how they get off the planet next episode episode 10 so um the my reaction to this full episode will be, will be on my patreon that link along my social media links posted underneath this video in the description section and with this episode um my reaction episode for the star wars um and or any of my other content reaction content for my sanctum channel or my yg anime channel for all things anime link is right up there check that out help support that channel support supporting this channel which i greatly appreciate and like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And uh, with that said, um, tip my hat to you. May the Force be with you. Until next time for episode 10 of the Disney Plus series, Star Wars The Bad Batch. All right? Later.